food lovers. Oklahoma retailers are having to pay more to keep supplies in stock. And as Charles Bassett tells us, those costs are being passed on to us customers. Charles? Well, Amanda, the Gulf is a main source of fresh seafood we buy here. But now a large section of the Gulf is off limits to fishermen. So retailers are having to look elsewhere to buy, which means you'll pay more. During the summer, it's hard, though. Fresh seafood is a must for Virginia Elkins. She's a regular at the Avalon Seafood Market. Probably once a week, fresh. But now she's concerned she may no longer be able to afford her weekly indulgence. The prices, and not just the prices, just the quality of the fish. Hope we can still get fish. Now that the resources coming from the Gulf are limited, retailers like this one are having to depend more on Hawaii just to keep their stock on hand. Others are doing the same, so the cost is going up. I've seen 5 to 25 percent increases in uh, uh, bids that we get from fishermen and so forth. And that hike trickles down to customers. Shrimp, American Red Snapper and Grouper will all cost you more than they did a month ago. It hasn't been significant yet, but my, my thought is that it's before the summer's over, it's going to be significant. Despite the concerns, the city of Yukon is still going ahead with this festival this weekend, which includes Louisiana seafood. All the crawfish are farm-raised, and they're not coming from the Gulf, and it's in a controlled environment. But if you need your seafood on a regular basis, retailers say they plan to keep supplies on hand. I can't say that the prices are going to be reasonable, but this isn't going to chase us out of business. And Watkins tell us there are still areas of the Gulf that are not off limits, so you don't have to worry about getting oily or contaminated seafood. Amanda. Well, that's good. And as you mentioned, Charles, you can enjoy that fresh seafood this weekend at Yukon's Taste of Louisiana Crawfish and Living History Festival. It's a free event. It goes on on Saturday from 10 until 8 o'clock at the Kirkpatrick Family Farm. You'll find that at 1001 Garth Brooks Boulevard.